Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Hedera, we are trading at 0 0.03834, 24 hour volume, we're down 26%. And market cap, we're down 1.27%. So heading over to our daily chart here, you guys, we can see at 78% of our FIB, two candlesticks in a row here, getting rejected from this point. And we are only seeing like a few factors here that's showing a lot of weakness here for Hedera is essentially the RSI. Now we see the RSI, RSI itself is coming up and we see weakness in our MACD indicator. Typically these two combined would have pushed us at least getting the body closer to 78% of our FIB of our candlestick. But if we switch over to high Kanashi, we can see that these two candlesticks really haven't had the shaven bottom that we were looking for in hopes to change or give us any signals that the price was going to have a nice reversal from this bottom low that we've seen on December 31st. Now, when we do see some shaven bottoms of our high Kanashi candlestick, it does give us a hint again that the reversal may occur from the strong downtrend, but we don't see it here. So be prepared for Hedera on a daily time frame for it to come down and retest this area of support here. Now, we do have these two nodes that are sticking out that we could potentially use as an area of support at the 372 all the way down to 370. So just be very cautious if you are looking looking into Hedera on a daily time frame that we may see that the price coming down to this area. Now heading over to our four hour time frame. Now our four hour time frame here, we are going to be looking for an area of support. We see the RSI itself is coming down we see our K line here fixated roughly around the 28% and we see our D line here at 46%. Now, as the price and the RSI is coming down, we are going to anticipate a possible break at an area of support. Notice the area of support that we have been using is the 23% of our FIB. We have a few candlesticks in this downtrend corridor back here on December 30th, this candlestick here on January 1st and proceeding onward. So we are going to be retesting this area of support as the RSI itself is coming down and we do see that the MACD indicator is coming um, down as well so we can see these histograms are losing momentum in this bullish wave that we saw and we do see that the spaces in between are coming together as well if we do see an expansion of these MACD indicators then we're able to hold on to an area of support here we can see again at the retest of the 23% of our FIB where we saw the MACD indicator was increasing, but now it's the complete opposite at the area of support. So be prepared for the price to come down and seeing if we're able to hold that. If not, then again, we are going to be relying on the three, seven numbers here where we see it on our volume profile, these nodes here that are sticking out as a resort of a su uh, support here. Now heading over quickly to the two hour time frame. Now we do see a break below our 20 moving average here at 78%. We saw that switch over from our green MACD indicator to the red current. Now, as the price itself triggered a buying opportunity, we see our K line above our D line here. It triggered a buying opportunity at this low. Where we saw that low here was a capture or an area of support of our 50 moving average as the price is going to proceed to continue to come up. So long again, as our MACD indicator is showing weakness in these histograms. Now, if these histograms are getting weaker and the RSI is going to continue to come up, we are going to retest this area of resistance here. We can see again on January 2nd, a few of our candlesticks retraced to this level until it finally broke out with another wave of our MACD indicator. If you see that, it lines up very nicely here on the green histograms boosting up the price and finally closing above the 78% of our FIB. So that's where I'm anticipating that the price is going to retest this area. If again, we do see that the MACD indicator is showing these, um, these wavelengths, these histograms getting smaller in size, but most importantly, still keep within these lightness of the color here. So that's my quick update here for Hedera. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, but I'll see you next time.